right, you're still tuned in to uh, Market Pulse here on New Century in partnership with Narimetrics. Right now, we're picking up the pulse of the day with Head of Business Development, PU Prime Africa. Uh, Daniel Effa joins us. Uh, good afternoon, Daniel. Good afternoon, Joanna. Good afternoon. Uh, I, I, can't, I can't remember your name, Brian, but uh, oh good afternoon to everyone afternoon. in the studio. Yeah, <laughs> get familiar. Daniel. Get familiar. All right, so obviously a lot of activities going on on the NGX. Aradel, of course, has taken the spotlight. But before we get round to yeah. you know, Aradel, uh, we've recorded a sharp reversal from the two-month decline um, witnessed earlier with inflation. The equities market has halted its positive streak. How strong of a role is inflation having on the markets right now? And what are these figures telling investors? How is it guiding their decisions? Okay, so um, I think that it's... Um it's a, no, it's a normal macroeconomic um, uh, response to inflationary pressures. Uh, the markets will always struggle uh, whenever there is inflationary pressures because then uh, what it means is that uh, uh, whenever there is inflation, uh, companies in, uh, in the stock market suffer some considerable level of difficulty in carrying out their day-to-day -day business. So that plays a role in how investors view stocks during inflationary pressures. Right? So it is a normal thing. Uh, I think that, um, and, and, and of course, answer, answer of the response. Uh, most times I, I tell people that uh, inflation comes as one part, part, part of the conversation, interest rates come as the other response. So um, the um, uh, investors will look at that and say, okay, yes, this is, uh, these figures continue based on um, uh, the two-month uh, retracement we saw, I call it a retracement, I don't think it was a reversal mm -hmm. because we still have those uh, inflationary factor risk where, where are still there. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what we had is just a continuance of whatever mm -hmm. uh, uh, so and, and it's, it's showing that it will most likely continue mm -hmm. uh, into, the, into the end of the year. So yeah, who, who, who benefits from this, right? Who benefits from this, you know, high inflation, higher interest rates? Um, in the investment space, who benefits? Uh, I think I think it's the fixed income securities. Uh, uh, they, are the, they, they are the biggest winners when it, come, when it comes to um, um, in, uh, inflation and the response, which is usually interest rate hikes. Um, they are usually the benefits. It's usually oversubscribed. Like I was talking about it last time I was here, usually oversubscribed. Then, then, then the CBN uh, can now begin to tweak, can now begin to get, get a lot of oversubscription, now begin to tweak what the yields would look like, well, because then the demand is towards them. So uh, I think that that is basically what will happen. All right. um, however, we can't totally write off the market, right, because um, there, are, there are still fundamentals that will still drive some certain their sectors in the coming months, going into the new year, basically. But biggest winners for this income security, all right. no doubt. All right, Daniel. There's a new kid in the block, the newbie stock, Aradel. Has seen two days has seen um, two days consecutive yeah. in the red, and since the since and it's seventeen percent mm. surge within the first two days in the exchange. Mm. Is this coming too mm. soon? Knowing full well that in the last two days, seventeen percent down. And um, would you say that the stock is being affected by broader market sentiment, or there's some isolated incident that we don't know about? Okay, so um, um, it is a normal thing, right? It's a new stock on the block. First day excitement, everybody uh, goes into it, right? And second day, you get you get uh, what we are. So what we are seeing now uh, is is where traders is where uh, very smart investors want the price to get to, uh, so that then you can buy as much stocks as you can get mm -hmm. in terms of uh, future uh, appreciation, right? Okay. Um, however, I don't. I, I still think that we still probably have a one more a one more bad day, right? Then before it stabilizes and it I, because no matter what okay. um, the demand and supply will definitely take its course, right? So what is basically happening is just normal for the stock. Uh, we came at the, at, at a, at, I think, I think uh, the, the opening price of the stock is yeah. probably this, uh, makes it the second highest valued uh, uh, shares of, uh, in, in, in that particular sector, right? right? So it is only normal for demand and supply to find its course first, right? Uh, 650, 660, 670, we we'll definitely see that range. Are, are, you sure, are you sure investors because are not going to be catching a falling knife? Because you are giving us the idea, or the, you're speculating yeah. that, that that seems to be the bottom. Are investors not going to be yeah, catching so, a falling knife? Okay, so this, this is the thing. Uh, I think that um, smart investors want, uh, don't, nobody, nobody wants to buy a stock at a high price. 
Yeah, you want to be the ones that buy it when it is low, so that when it appreciates, you make more money, right? So whatever is happening is basically simply market behavior, right? And that and and we definitely find its cost, right? So what we are simply saying is 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 price searching for the right cost, right? right? As soon as that is identified, you will see a big surge in that particular stock. Why? Because sector wide, sector wide conversations in that in oil oil like gas. Is looking positive for the next couple of years. So um, no matter what happens, it's a new stock, new share on the stock. It will stop water, it will find its the right pricing at different ranges, mm -hmm. high and low, before it then takes the right cost base. All it right. Is a, it is a yeah. Stock. Yeah, and you're projecting that there's still one more day in the red for this stock. Uh, of course, it has already yeah, gone below yes, like. its opening price. It's trading below its opening price right now. It's about 680. I think it came in at yeah, seven something. Yeah. Analysts at Cardinal Stone Limited, mm -hmm. they said a 12 month target price of about 1,258.6, uh, yeah, uh, 258 Naira 61 mm -hmm. Cobble uh, for Ardell Holdings PLC. They're expecting more than a 79% mm -hmm. upside potential. Were they being over ambitious there, right? Mm. And by your assessment, is the stock in line to meet up with these projections? Okay, so um, if you look at major stocks in, in, in that sector, I think they've done they've done more than that in terms of uh, uh, in the last one year. Uh, we've seen stock do about two hundred percent. We've seen uh, we've seen Sepla do seem as in um, very funny numbers, right? And um, uh, if for a new stock and the kind of positioning the company is positioned, we've seen the, we've seen the company in terms of acquisition, trying to buy um, Total uh, and MPC. We've seen we've seen we get what the company is trying to do, and that is what investors look at, right? We are looking at uh, them the partnership with uh, Renaissance, Renaissance Africa Energy Group, so uh, and acquisition of more oil and gas uh, wells, and also you see that uh, that alone you get in terms of uh, company fundamental is strong. Right, that is one. The industry fundamental. We are still looking at uh, a potential upside, right? Based on based on our, 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 our PU prime, we are still looking at um, crude oil getting to at least 80, 85 dollar per barrel in the near term. Looking at the quarter or, or a, a quarter or more. So um, the oil sector is still that sector where you will still see a lot of investment pushing in, a lot of investors considering. So mm. Ardell is well positioned as the second more valuable stock right now. So to, to definitely make that number. So for me, I don't think um, a, a thousand, I don't think it is too much. I don't think it is too much based on what Cardinal Stone is, is, is projected. I don't think it is too much. We I think it will is achievable. see. Right. I think we're going to have to wait and see. But uh, unfortunately, that's as much as we can take from you, Daniel, on the show today. I mean, I wish we had Thank more you, time man. to discuss some of the things happening. But there's always next time. There's always next time. Mm -hmm. I